So guys, I'm working with bus 20 and waist 20 as well. So the half lens is going to be 8 inches. Then bus 20 divided by 4 give me 5 inches. So I'm going to be adding extra 2 inches for the same allowance. That's making it seven. So this is the seven inches. So I'm working with back measurement five inches. The armhole will be five inches as well. So on this part too, I'll have my five. I'm going to connect it like this. The neck I'm working with is two one over four by two one over four. So you just do it like this. Then remember to slant the shoulder as well. One inches you connect. Then the armhole. I'm going to get the midpoint of this is five inches. So two. I'm going to mark in half an inch here. Then I'll just connect it to get the armhole curve. Since the waist and the bust are the same. So I still have my five inches here, then two extra inches for same allowance. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. the back now adding one and a half for zip allowance this is the one and a half for zip allowance so I'm just going to bring it down a bit so I'll go ahead and cut Back and front, that's the neckline for the back and front to be the same. So I'll go ahead and split this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fold my the flame. So this is it here. So I'll fold it as a semi flame. So you bring the two together first, then you fold it like this. As you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to be running gathers at the waist side. So this is a chair. Since we already have 8 inches, that length is like 22. 
so 22 minus 8 inches we have uh, 14 inches so i'm just going to be working with anything i have left here the door face i have is um two yards i'm using two yards for this so i'm going to be adding extra one and a half inches that's 15 and a half so i'll be working with whatsoever i have here as my app let me shift it so you can see well so we have like eight and a half here this is eight and a half so i'm going to mark eight and a half all round so i'll go ahead and calculate my 15 and a half all round like this So this is it. I'll go ahead and put it now. If you want to calculate your gathers, you can add, you can multiply it by two in two, or you multiply by two and a half. Since you are going to be running gathers along the twist. So this is what I have. And this is the upper part as well so what i'm going to do now is to cut my lining so i've gone ahead to cut the lining and this is what we have and mind you my lining is not the same length with the flay as you can see it here it's not the same length with it so this is the front this is the lining for the front and this is the back so it's time to sew so this is the hard net i'm going to be using inside the clothes so what i'm going to do is to mark four inches from let's say five inches you mark it round like this from the top i'm going to do that too for the back so if you can see, this is the five inches here that I've marked. So this is the ad length. I'm going to be cutting this ad length using five inches. That's the length of the hard length. So I'm going to be running a gathers. So when I'm running the gathers, I'll place one here at the top here, at the first part here. Then the second part, I'm going to place it. So I'm going to go to my sewing machine now and do it. So guys, I've gone ahead to show it. As you can see, this is the first layer. This is the lining. Then this is the second layer. If you have enough net, you can double it or even triple it. It depends on how full you want it to look like. But I said earlier, this is a baby's dress. So this is what we are working with. Then the next thing you are going to do is to go ahead and turn the front and the back so we're going to go ahead and sew this we start from the neck then armhole armhole then the back as well so i'll go ahead and do it now so i've gone ahead to turn it as you can see this is it and this is the shoulder this is the shoulder so i've gone ahead to turn it so I'm just going to join the seams together, just the back and the front. So I'll go ahead and join it now, then come back to show you guys. So I've gone ahead to join the seams together. This is it here, and this is it here. So the next thing is the flea. As you can see, this is it. I've gone ahead to sew, so I'll just be pulling the gathers right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it gently, as you can see. For those that does not know how to pull, I hope you're learning. So you just pull it gently till you have your desired measurements. 
so guys this is it here i'm gonna have to pull the garters so the next thing is to join this the flame to the front maybe the half cut sorry the half cut straight here so we're going to join it all round so guys this is what we have here but I would encourage you if you have enough fabric you can go ahead and cut a full flame because this is not really full because you are using a little fabrics for it so the next thing you're going to do is to join the parts of the lining this one you're going to join it like this to here I'm going to sew like this so I'll go ahead and sew it. So guys, I'm going to have to sew it. But what I did not tell you was that the lining is supposed to be true. So it can cover the net as well. See it here? As you can see, this is it. So we have two lining. The one just before the fabric. Then here, then this so this is what we have at the end of the day so i'll go ahead and i'm going to be using this crinoline for the m so this is what i'm going to be using to turn the m so i'm going to be using the crinoline all around so i'll go ahead and show it now and come back to show you so guys i'm gonna help to attach the crinoline to it this is it. So after doing it, I top stitched and see how it looks. So this is it. This is how uh, it's going to make the cloth look. As I mean, this was cut on a full flare, it should have been more finer than this. But since this is a moderate gown, so this is it here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fix the zip but before i fix the zip i just want to create a small design in front which is a bow i'm going to be cutting a bow in front of the dress so this is how i'm going to be cutting the bow this is in seven inches by seven inches so this is it then i'll have this as well so what I'm going to do now is to give this a covered shape at the base. I'm going to give it a covered look. I'll just curve it around like this. So this is what I'm going to have. So I'll go ahead and sew this, the three sides remaining. And at the same time, I'll go ahead and so this i'll start from here then i'm going to leave a small opening at the center i'll come back and tell you how it goes then this is it here i'm gonna have to sew so i just left a opening in the middle so that i can be able to turn it out and this one as well i left a small opening here so i'll go back and sew it or gum it so this is how you're going to do it You use a needle and thread like this. This is it. Yeah? I'll try and arrange it. So I'll arrange it well. So this is it here. So I'm going to have to do it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to get the midpoint of this. I'm just going to put it like this, fix it. And I'm going to use this one to turn it. I'm going to be rolling it with this. So this is what I'll have. So I'll have to, I'm going to tie it then gum it at the end of the day then i'm going to fix it on the clothes this is it here 
So this rough part, I'm going to have to gum it. So I'm going to trim it off and gum it. So, so I'm just going to place it to the front of the clothes like this. It will look like this. You can bring it to the center. You can bring it to the side, whichever one you want. So I'm just going to be leaving it at then at the center will be okay for me. So I'm going to be leaving it at the center. When I'm done fixing it, I'm going to sew it with a needle and thread to the clothes. When I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and fix my zip. So guys, this is the cloth. This is it. So I'm going ahead to fix the zip. And this is the bow. So I'm just going to be putting a little design here around the neckline. So basically, we are done. We are done. So it's looking very simple but beautiful. So we're done.